It's your boy B. Gale back with another anger. Thomas Sowell, border crisis. What the left gets totally wrong. What the left gets totally wrong. Border crisis. Border crisis. Thomas Sowell. Thomas Sowell. I just want, I had to say all those a few times. You know what I'm saying? This shit. Listen, bro, this some real shit. Border crisis. This shit's going on now. What the left gets totally wrong, psh, come on. Thomas Sowell, come on, he's, yeah, very articulate. He finna lay it out. Eight minutes, so that's pretty long. I like that. I like that. We're gonna go ahead and get involved, man. Hit that like, hit the subscribe, let's get it. If we're a land that in God we trust, and Jesus says, let the children come to me, wouldn't you agree that we need to open our arms to Mexico? No. What the because, fuck? Uh, Bro, tripping. Bro, tri he took that to a whole nother level. Now he talking about opening the borders for anybody. And Jesus says, let the children come to me. To him, not to you. that we need to open our arms to Mexico? No. Facts. Because uh, every country has to protect its own borders. There was a time when every... I really end the video on some shit like that. Just right there. That right there just tell you... Come on, bro. Can you go somewhere... Just freely. Can you go to another country freely? So if you can't, why can they? They're protecting their country. They're using their smarts because even though you are a good person, not everybody, but you, even if you are a good person and you just want to go to a different country, unfortunately, sir, ma'am, you have to do it the right way. Unfortunately, even though you're a good person, you got to do it the right way. I understand that. Because what if I wasn't a good person? What if you weren't? So I understand that. So why are we opening our borders so everybody that's not in our country is good? Do y'all know what terrorism is? We just letting people in. So anybody that says America can come in like they love America and fuck us up from the inside out. Why? Because we wanted open borders? No, no. We're 16 seconds in and he already... Come on. This is why I fuck with Thomas. This is why I fuck with Thomas. Virtually every country. In the Let me go back. He, you know, he says some shit. See that we need to open our arms to Mexico? No, because uh, every country has to protect its own borders. There was a time when every, virtually every country in the Western Hemisphere, uh, not only allowed but encouraged immigration on a massive scale because they had the land and they needed the resources and so on. Uh, it's not at all clear that if you were to throw the borders wide open, let anyone come who wants to that this would still be the same country 50 years from now. Right. In your book, you note that some immigrant groups seem to have these persistent traits that no matter where they go, they seem to have them. Um, why does that happen? And, and in a culture like ours where we're pushing assimilation, couldn't that interfere with that process? Well, I think the groups that uh, have a full range of skills, they have businessmen, they have uh, workers, they have the whole range, uh, they can have their own little enclaves. And in fact, the Germans and the Jews at one time had, had that kind of system. Uh, you could live on the Lower East Side of New York and you have your own doctors, your own businessmen, your own stores, everything, uh, speaking Yiddish every day without a word of English, and go on and live a lifetime that way. Is that good? I mean, well, uh, it has its pluses and minuses. But if you have a group that is mostly unskilled workers, then they have to work for somebody else and they have to be able to under, understand somebody else's language. And so it's crucial for them to acquire, to acquire most the Most Americans, culture. I know most of the viewers out there, you would want uh, immigrants to speak English. Uh, most and, most uh, of the immigrants themselves want to speak English. One of the reason there's a controversy nice. is that you have many activists, both from within the group and people in the larger society, who want to keep them foreign. But most of, most of the immigrants themselves want to become Americans. Self-appointed do-gooders. They can. Listen, you can come over here and be a citizen, fam. Nobody said you couldn't do that. It's the fact that y'all want to come over here with no, with no process in place. But how come we can't come to y'all shit with no process in place? Y'all want us to do what y'all want. And, like, to me, that just doesn't, like, logically, that makes no sense.
Logically, that makes no sense. Well, you, you, you got it. I want to talk more about that. But let's talk to Dirk in uh, Navasota, Texas. Thanks for Dirk. the borderline. Whisk. Hello, yes. I have a question for Mr. Soul. Shoot. Uh, Mr. Soul, I live in Germany, and I've, I went there 10 years ago, and I'm an American. And when the borders fell in Berlin, and we let East Germany be a part of West Germany, now we're all one, uh, we realized something that is basically happening with Mexico here in America. And my question is, uh, because of Yugoslavia and all of the other countries that are infiltrating into Germany, don't you think uh, there's a lot more land here in America, and why the greed? You, you lost me about greed. Right. Well, I think um, what I'm trying to say is, if we're a land that in God we trust, and Jesus says, let the children come to me, wouldn't you agree that we need to open our arms to Mexico? No, because uh, every country has to protect its own borders. There was a time when every, virtually every country in the Western Hemisphere uh, not only allowed but encouraged immigration on a massive scale because you had the land and they needed the resources and so on. Uh, it's not at all clear that... Maybe the first time we saw this part, it was like a little like preview. He's definitely going through that part again. If you were to throw the borders wide open and let anyone come who wants to, that this would still be the same country 50 years from now. And so, uh, in a sense, you can't let everybody come to America because if everybody came to America, it wouldn't be America anymore. So that, that's not an option that we have. Uh, the most we can do is try to weigh many very different kinds of considerations. Well, judging from the success of various groups in your book, who should come to America? How should we decide? Oh, I, I, that, that, that's a much tougher one, but right. I think that uh, we should say that we do have the right. I ain't, I ain't, hey. And if people who come here from country X do well and make America a better place, then let more people come here from country X. And if people who come from country Y simply come here and uh, become a burden on the American taxpayers, then less people should come from a country Y. One of the problems we have uh, is that the welfare state makes it very expensive to let immigrants in. So you have a, you have a country like uh, New Zealand, whose total population uh, is less than that of New York City, you know, and, and they have all kinds of barriers against immigrants. Uh, you know, they've got 60 million sheep there, and 3 million people, uh, and, and vast amounts of empty land. But the point is, once you put your foot on New Zealand soil, you're entitled to all kinds of benefits at the expense of the taxpayers, and therefore the taxpayers don't want you. So it's not just a question of uh, the number of people in the land, it's a question of what kind of system do you have. And one of Germany's problems, one of the reasons of, for the great hostility to immigration in Germany, is that they are a welfare state. If this was a place where you, sh you come in and it's up to you to support yourself, I suspect you'd have a lot less res resistance, resistance to immigration. When exactly. only 2% of immigrants from Japan to the United States go on welfare, while 46% of the immigrants from Laos do, there is no single pattern that applies to all immigrants. Everything depends on which immigrants you're talking about and which periods of history. Okay, here's the assignment. The period is today, and the immigrants we're talking about are the roughly 11 million, that seems to be the best estimate, roughly the 11 million who are in this country illegally, overwhelmingly from Mexico. President Obama has issued a, an executive order protecting about 5 million of them from deportation and other legal penalties. A humane act. Well, if you want, one of the things about the immigration debate is they talk about immigrants in the abstract, and there are no immigrants in the abstract, as that passage indicates. And we don't know who those people are that, that are here. They may all be PhDs from the University of Chicago, in which case they should all stay. Or they may, 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 in fact, be people who uh, uh, majored in sociology at Berkeley, in which cases get them all out of here as soon as possible. Uh, or, or, you know, but we don't know. That, that's one of the problems of uh, so-called immigration policy. We don't have an immigration policy unless we control the border. It doesn't matter what our policy is. If anybody who wants to cross the border can cross, then our policy is just a bunch of words on paper. Okay, so I think I hear you, I, I think I can deduce from that set of comments two policies. One is, for sure, you get control of the border. Yeah, that's just obvious. We get control of the border. But from that point forward, you're as dubious 
about the editorial position of the Wall Street Journal, mm -hmm. which is consistently oh. pro-immigrant, as you are dubious of the President of the United States, because your point is neither one of them really knows in enough detail yeah. who these 11 million people are, whether they're doing net good or harm to the economy. So you, you, th that's in you don't buy the Wall Street Journal argument. No. That, on, that on net, surely they're doing more good than harm, more oh. economic good than harm. You don't buy that? No. And especially when they're trying to uh, talk about having people in agriculture. I mean, this is a country that has had a chronic surplus of agricultural output for decades on end, costing the taxpayers billions upon billions of dollars. But because the federal government subsidizes the, yes. the surplus, right? Yes. All right. All right. Yeah, yes. And, and, and in fact, I, I, I think the, the federal government subsidizes the water that creates the surplus that it then subsidizes again. Uh, and I think, I think that, that uh, any discussion of, of people in the abstract drives me crazy because there are no abstract people. A hundred years ago, people understood that. And so when there was a debate about immigration, there was a multi-volume set of tomes about the characteristics of the immigrants from various countries. Where, where, where do they, how do their kids do in school? They had what, the guts to be picky. Yes. They said, we'll take some. Yes. But they better do us good. Yes. Okay, okay. So what kind of debate would you like to... Congress, as I mentioned a moment ago, just has just fallen to the control of Republicans, both houses. Republicans aren't going to be able to move much legislation because the president can still veto it. What kind of debate should they have? What kind of hearing should they hold on immigration? They should find out what kind of people, uh, how, how are the people that we know about now, how are their kids doing in school? What is their crime rate? What is their disease rate? All those things that matters, you know. I, I they don't think all these kids and these just kids. Well, you know, kids do grow up, and they have other kids. Uh, uh, we don't know. Maybe, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's a bad thing. We don't have a clue. That was a good vid, bro. The only reason why I say we should have closed borders, my reason is very logic. You know, other people aren't doing it. We don't need to. To safety. Uh, precaution all over the board whether it be crime disease anything economy it's just a lot to factor in and for you to just let them in and, and with no process or nothing in place you're screwing the people that already are a citizen let me know in the comments what y'all thought about the video and the reaction hit the subscribe turn me up otb gill out of the